Welcome to day 10, 30 days of AI series. Every machine learning algorithm is trying to solve fundamentally the same problem from decision theory. In statistical learning theory, we frame the prediction problem as a decision problem. You observe input, make a prediction, and the nature reveals the true output. The loss function, that's our mathematical penalty for being wrong, and it quantifies the cost of your decision. Now, here's the profound insight. We are minimizing the expected risk across all possible future data. Expected risk, that's the average cost of being wrong on data we haven't seen yet. The risk function is the expected value of this loss function over all possible input-output data. Every learning algorithm is trying to find this function f that minimizes the expected risk. Take regression, where we predict continuous numbers like housing prices. Here we use squared loss. Why? Because under this squared loss, the optimal prediction is the expected expectation, which is just the average value given your input. This quadratic penalty naturally drives the algorithm towards the conditional mean. For classification where we do yes and no decisions, like for example spam detection, we use cross entropy loss. Cross entropy measures how surprised you should be by the true answer given your predicted probabilities. Say an email is 90% likely not spam, but it actually is spam. So what we are gonna do? Here you pay, according to this formula, 2.3 nets. Nets are natural units of information and they measure your surprise mathematically. What's mathematically beautiful is that different loss function encode different assumptions about the cost structure of being wrong. The choice of loss function is precisely where human judgment enters this otherwise purely mathematical optimization. Tomorrow we will see how do we actually find this function that minimizes this expected risk. This is where the gradient descent comes in.